Fans of the Horus Heresy, thank you very much for joining me for a weekly update video on the channel. It's been a busy week, um, I hope you've enjoyed all the videos um, that I put up. Um, I think I just about got through everything I said I was uh, going to do so. Um, so I've done this for the last couple of weeks and I'll, uh, I will try to continue to do this um, just to give you you guys an idea of what I'm thinking about, what my ideas are, and that's in sort of general terms and then also specific videos that I'm going to aim to post over each coming week. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's the idea. Um, however, before I get into that, I would just like to welcome all the new subscribers to the channel. Hello and thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, and I would also like to thank everyone for all your views uh, over the course of uh, the last week and uh, since indeed I started out. And yeah, uh, I just thought, i just uh, been on Google um, YouTube Analytics and uh, I've had, you viewed my videos 2.7 thousand times, 2.7k views so far, um, which is absolutely, uh, it's quite astonishing and, and somewhat humbling actually um, to get so many views um, just uh, sort of doing a project like this and just seeing where it goes. So yeah, thank you ever so much for all that interest uh, and yeah, I really appreciate it and I, I will continue to... Um, work on the videos because uh, as, you're, as you're hopefully going to find out um, I've got lots more ideas to come. So um, right ideas well I thought I'd uh, talk about the sort of themes of episodes that um, seem to be forming and crystallizing as, uh, as the weeks go by and I just thought I'd, uh, so, just thought I'd go through these um, as, to give you guys an idea of how I'm going to approach videos going forward. So these are, these are episode themes. Um, so the first is out of the pack reviews. So an out of the pack review is where I get a new product and I open it up on camera and I, I unbox it and I look at it uh, and I look at the quality of the product and, and just to give you, idea, you guys an idea of what that product's like, it may be something you're interested in buying. Um, and also, you know, particularly in the case of the forge wall models I look like, um, hopefully, you know, gives you a bit of an eye for the, the quality control as well. Uh, the second theme is model and rules reviews. This is pretty straightforward, um, you know, clues in the title, but the model and rules reviews is a review of the completed miniature uh, once it's fully assembled and cleaned up, uh, along with an assessment <coughs> of the in-game capability uh, of that particular model or set of figures. Uh, the next theme is counter tactics. So counter tactics is uh, is rules focused, and it's to look at specific units or indeed entire armies uh, or forces in in the Horus Heresy forty or thirty k game, and think about how to how using a particular opponent might counter particular units. And the idea there is to identify things that are especially troublesome to fight against, uh, and and get some discussion and ideas going around how to deal with those. Um, the next theme is what I've called analysis essays. So, so far I've, uh, I've done two videos which I uh, consider to fall into this category. So analysis essays would include things such as the, um, price, um, the price analysis I did of Forge World products um, and also the, um, the balance of heresy where I looked at the, uh, how the points values had changed between the Mechanicum and the Legion. So those are the most in terms of sort of the actual research, those are the most in-depth in and uh, involving videos for production. So those are probably going to take the longest to produce and be the least frequent, but um, that won't stop me doing them. Uh, the, next, uh, the next theme, which is new last week, is Retro Hammer. Um, I had some very, uh, very kind comments on the retro, two Retro Hammer videos from last week on the Imperial Space Marine and the Imperial Space Marine's plastic box set. Um, I'm going to continue on with Retro Hammer. Um, I've got the idea, what, I'm trying, what I want to do with Retro Hammer is I'm not going to look at every single model um, that came out in the early days of 40k and not all models will be from the early days of 40k but what I want to do is I want to try pick out things that really had a significant impact in terms of maybe a particular style of model in the game or a game part of the game that developed or um, uh, or a particular you know theme in the background of the game 
Uh, and I won't just be looking at miniatures in Retro Hammer, I will also be looking at publications of the time as well. Uh, moving on to the next one is How To. So How To is, uh, these are like little modeling demos. These are kind of like just shot a bit off, off the cuff as I'm doing some modeling work and if we get to something that I think might make a, a nice demo that's not too long to film for you guys to watch, um, I've just done, just shoot that and do some commentary with it. Uh, you've had a little bit of battle reports as well with some of those as well, so uh, it's quite a versatile uh, little theme. And finally, um, is a is something I've not published anything or uh, released a video on yet, but I'm going. I'm calling game lore at the moment, and my idea on this theme is to take games and from campaigns that I played with uh, my uh, gaming group and um, turn it into a narrative. Um, so use those battles to write a lore narrative, uh, obviously in the style of 30k. Um, now I've got, um, I'm going to collaborate with a, with a mate of mine on this. Um, there's a lot of material already uh, on an Istvan 3 campaign um, from, the, from the start of the Horus Heresy that we played a couple of years back. Um, a huge amount of um, information to turn into a like a law series uh, and then also um, we're just doing a, a, a mini uh, we're starting a great crusade mini campaign at the moment and we're going to do the same thing there so there's so yeah so that's another one to watch out for and hopefully something a little bit different um, and something to give you some creative and imaginative ideas around your games uh, to go alongside the models and the rules reviews so yeah, those are channel themes now. Um, so a couple of so ideas on. Just want to go through a few comments I've had around ideas for um, videos. Um, so let's in no particular order or preference. Um, I've just written th these down as I came to them. Uh, firstly, uh, Shivas Six um, asked if I could do a review of the Black Book. So the Black Books of the Horus Heresy um, source books and rule books. Um, with which started with book one betrayal and we're now on to book uh, six retribution and obviously book seven prospero will be released in february 2017 um, so yes i'm i've i have access to all six of the black books however before i do that i'm just going to take a step back uh, and next week i'm going I'm going to publish um, an overview of the Horus Heresy Collected Visions art book, and you can you can see that in shot there. Um, I think it's interesting to look at this before starting the Horus Heresy books uh, in the main, because this was um, this was published in 2007, and it collected a whole host of artwork from um, both the collectible card game of, at the time, but also from earlier um, Forge World and Games Workshop publications. Um, and it's just, it, it's a very interesting visual piece collection and it, it, as you can probably see it's huge as well so I, I thought it'd be really nice to look through that and, and just explore um, some of the um, ideas and styles that are captured in this book and do that before we actually start the main um, black books themselves. Um, so yeah, there's one to watch out for, Houston 08. Um, he uh, or she or who, uh, Houston 08 asked if we could if we could look at marine super heavy transporters um, when we were following on from a discussion around the Socast Pattern Stormbird. Um, I've got access. I, I can get access to a an unassembled Thunderhawk gunship, uh, which I thought might make quite a nice out of the box review, um, and also. Um, that could then lead into um, a bit of a rules comparison around things such as the Thunderhawk, the Sokar Pattern Storebird, the Thunderhawk Transporter, uh, and that like of marine uh, flyers. Um, oh, other comments there. Alex Doe, um, some thank you for your um, for your comments around the glaive rules and the haywire effect on the um, Volkite Carronade. That was uh, that was I appreciate that. Thank you very much for that. Um, and uh, moving on, and then Zibokovic, um, some good chat around Mechanicum Tactics. Um, I'm going to 
do a counter tactics episode specifically on the Mechanicum um, because I think um, <coughs> excuse me the Mechanicum are definitely a uh, an area of challenge um, and then one final um, just response to comments so uh, Fergus Shaw was asking about model painting um, I'm at the coming towards the end of a very large assembly project for three forces, um, Iron Hands, Cellar Auxilia and Mechanicum. And uh, so it's uh, on the horizon, not too far away I hope, to start the painting of these forces. Um, and indeed I, uh, I invested it this weekend in a uh, new gravity feed airbrush and compressor, which I've been, had my eye on for a while. So uh, I uh, will certainly be getting that to put to use uh, in the not too distant future. So yeah, um, other reviews. So a couple of other reviews to then watch out for this week. Obviously, I've talked about the uh, Horus Heresy Visions. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'll be doing a model and rules review uh, of the Cerberus Super Heavy Tank Destroyer from the Space Marine Legion list. Um, the Cerberus is a Lords of War choice, um, and yeah, it's it, it it it's a brilliant vehicle. I love it. Um, almost as uh, it's almost up there with the glaive for me um, it, and it's also a bit of a crazy vehicle as well um, so yeah I'll, I'll watch out for a review of that and finally this week um, I am going to do a retro hammer episode uh, on Space Marine Exo Armor or as we all came to know them the Terminator Marine so that should be a, an interesting trip down memory lane uh, for those, for all of us. <coughs> so yes, um, oh anyway, yeah, that's a that's the latest up on the channel. So definitely three videos to watch out for next week. Um, possibly a few more if you get the time. Um, but yes, so yeah, um, I hope you found that interesting. Thank you very much for all your continued interest. Um, and yes, I'll speak to you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>